Your Excellencies, Father Jijun, Reverend Fathers and Sisters, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Kung mayroong crush ng bayan, mayroong nanay ng bayan. And for so many years, Nanay Grasing was nanay ng bayan. Poor mothers, when their sons become priests, they lose their identity. They are always identified as nanay ni father. But Nanay Grasing did not mind losing her identity as a mother and wife because she was always proud Nanay siya ni Father, nanay siya ng bayan. When she was born more than nine, nine decades ago, the name Engracia was given to her. Engracia is Spanish for endowed with grace. It is not full of grace. That is only the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is en gracia, endowed with grace. It is not the perfection of grace, but she was endowed with so much. And for her years, she lived up to that name, endowed with grace, en gracia. In the way she reared her children, in the way she carried her widowhood for 45 years, in the way she earned a living for her children by sewing dresses, in the way she went to church, in the way she went to pray the novenas, in the way she lived, in the way she spoke, in the way she parted and the way she traveled, she was endowed, endowed with grace. But not only was she endowed in her youth, she was endowed with grace in her old age. To see her beautiful dreams come true, she was endowed with grace in her old age. And even at the last moment of her life, she, in a manner of speaking, although certainly not the same, she was like the Virgin Mary who slept the sleep of death. Endowed with grace as a young mother, endowed with grace as a widow, endowed with grace as an, an elderly mother, endowed even with grace at the moment of her death. Without tubes, without needles, without intrusion to privacy, without isolation, receiving the blessings of the church, she literally slept in peace, endowed with grace. So now this morning, as we say goodbye, we also say thank you. Pero tiyak na tiyak ko, si Father Jijun at ang kanyang mga kapatid, walang hinanakit sa Diyos sapagkat lahat ng panalangin natin para kay Nanay Grasing binigay at pinagbigyan. Totoo malungkot sapagkat hindi na natin siya mapagmamanuhan, hindi na natin siya maalagaan, hindi na niya tayo mapapangiti. Pero alam natin, mga minamahal kong kapatid, hanggang sa huling hininga, Nanay Grasing was endowed with grace. We cannot begrudge God for taking her away from us because so much has been given to her. And we can only say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Nay. That is why this morning, we celebrate Nanay Grasing's life by the Eucharist. And the Eucharist is Thanksgiving. Yes, we are dressed in sad clothes, but there is a thanksgiving in our hearts because she lived a full life, endowed with grace, seeing all her dreams come true, 
and breathing her last in total peace, assured by the blessings of the Church. So if Nanay Grasing was gracia for us, and her death invokes, evokes gratitude among us, where do we go from here? We say goodbye to Nanay, but we also say, from now on, we will all be en gracia to keep your memory. We may have different names, but all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, are endowed with grace. And if we would spend our whole lifetime just thanking and thanking and thanking and thanking the Lord, we would run out of time and we would still not be able to thank the Lord for His goodness to us. Because the new name of holiness is thanksgiving. We cannot be saints. We cannot go to heaven if we do not imbibe, we do not ride on the spirituality of gratitude. We honor Nane Grasing best by always being grateful people. We honor Nana Grasing best by keeping in mind that we are all en gracia and en gracio in our own little ways, endowed with grace, endowed with grace that we do not deserve. That is why we can spend our whole lifetime thanking the Lord and our whole lifetime would not be enough to thank Him for His goodness to us. And such was Nana Grasing for us. Endowed with grace, gifted until the very last, and our mission is to continue a life of thanksgiving because a life of thanksgiving is a life of happiness and a life of thanksgiving is a life of holiness. Nay, malungkot kami kasi wala na po kayo. Pero alam naman namin kung saan kayo pupunta. Wala kayong ibang pupuntahan kundi ang grasya ng Diyos. Pagdasal po ninyo kami, ibulong po ninyo kami sa puso ni Jesus. Ang puso ni Jesus na inyong minahal, ang puso ni Jesus na nagmahal sa inyo. Thank you for being a worthy, beautiful receptacle of God's grace. You were endowed with grace, and we are forever grateful. May we, whom you have left behind, always remember that we, like you, are endowed with grace, and we, like you, should spend our whole life praising and thanking the Lord. <laughs>